everyone and welcome back to another speed build thursday so i know i know it's been so long since you guys actually heard me speak last uh if you guys haven't been around or this is your first video uh throughout all of october i did what i called was my spooky speed builds i'm doing quotation marks even though you guys can't see it uh basically what i decided to do was read a few uh short uh scary stories um over my builds instead of just my normal talking uh it was for October. I love October. I love Halloween, which um, when I'm recording this voiceover was yesterday for me, but two days ago for when you guys are watching this. But yeah, so that was um, my hell basically what I did for Halloween. Um, I did for one of my households do um, costumes and everything, but I didn't really, I was wanting to do some more, but I kind of ran out of time. So uh, yeah. Um, that's honestly, I was wanting to do so much more for October and I had next to no time because of schooling. So, yeah, uh, but you know, I'm not overly upset, just a little. <laughs> uh, but I do actually have some stuff to talk about and because I have been away for about a month, uh, there's a, quite a lot. So let's get right into it. So. Uh, on my, my, I know I have it on both my laptop and my phone, but I think it was on my laptop that this person saw it. Basically, I think I've told you guys, I'm a huge fan of Gravity Falls. I think I might have mentioned this before, but I'm not too sure. Um, this story, I mean. Um, so on my laptop background is the Bill Cipher wheel, uh, or Zodiac wheel, or whatever you want to call it. And I have that as the background for my laptop. And I had brought my laptop to school for class. I don't remember why. I think we were supposed to be doing something. And uh, I don't remember why, but I know I brought it to class for some reason. I don't normally do it, so it had to be for a good reason. But what happened was as I pull it up, I have the background open and, and behind me, I hear this girl and she's talking about how um, I have, uh, like, oh, geez. See, this happened, like, a month ago, so I'm trying to remember what she had actually said. All I can, like, all I have here in my notes is Gravity Falls Zodiac, Girl Thought Devil Worship. And it's just like, okay, what actually happened? Because I can't remember that now. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but yeah, basically she thought um, the Zodiac, the Gravity Falls Zodiac, Bill, uh, Bill Cipher Zodiac, whatever you want to call it, um, basically she thought it meant I was into devil worship. Okay. <laughs> um, probably just super religious, I don't know. But um, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not... <laughs> Um, I'm just really into the show Gravity Falls, <laughs> but yeah, that's me. Um, that's really all I had to say about that one. Oh, okay, so I don't know if you, like, I keep mentioning this, but I am Canadian, and in Canada we have our Thanksgiving the second Monday, yeah, the second Monday of the month, uh, which meant it was on the 9th for us this year. And basically what happened was uh, I had gone home for the weekend, uh, as always, and I was helping out with making dinner and everything. And what happened was there was this nice long piece of turkey skin um, that I found at the bottom. And I love the skin off of like turkey and chicken. So I grabbed it and stuffed the whole thing in my mouth. Yeah, well, that turned out bad for me because um, I actually started choking on it like legit choking on it that I, I actually had to pull the, all the turkey out and everything and oh I'm not gonna go into detail about it because probably a lot of you don't need to be hearing how bad it was or I don't know don't need to the full details of it but um yeah I was legit choking on turkey skin because I stuffed the whole thing in my mouth so uh yeah that was uh, my Thanksgiving after 
Ah, uh, the turkey. Oh, okay. So for Thanksgiving, um, we normally would have pulled the turkey out ahead of time, but my mom decided that we could just cook it from frozen. Mistake number one. And so around, um, I'm thinking to pulling it out er like two hours early and just leaving it in the sink until it's ready to cook. My mom said, no, we'll just cook it from frozen. And then, you know, it's getting late in the afternoon and about six, so my mom's like, you know, it's still frozen in the middle. So I go, we'll turn the heat up. And my mom goes, no, it's, uh, we don't want to have the outside cooking too fast. Yeah, you can see that's mistake number two. <laughs> and you wanna know what mistake number three was? Not listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end we had dinner I think around 9 or 10 at night and we learned to do two things well three things one pull the turkey out ahead of time two if it's not cooking turn the heat up and three listen to Sarah <laughs> it's like just like listen to me <laughs> like I know what I'm doing sometimes not really I don't know I've honestly never cooked a turkey myself before, so I honestly don't know. But, um, yeah, normally when I suggest things, I kind of have an idea. You know, I, I, I don't suggest things unless I actually know. I mean, sometimes I suggest things and I don't know, but a lot of the times when it comes to things like cooking, I've looked into it. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that was my Thanksgiving. No, t no, we did that on the 8th, my bad. We did it on the 8th. It's still. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, okay, so... This is something that... Uh, the next two no notes I have here kind of go together. And uh, so basically... Um, it's November now. And I've done a few midterms. I've been to a lot of classes. And I'm actually rather enjoying myself. You know... I do find things a little confusing. I do have to get a little bit of extra help. Mostly with note taking, but that's about it. Um, so far having to write midterms, it hasn't been too bad. So, you know, I'm actually rather enjoying myself. It's a lot more fun than when I went to uh, college two years ago. So I'm honestly really enjoying myself a lot more than I was back then. And, um, Cl uh, classes, like I said, have been great, and, um, okay, so this is kind of how I say way into the next point. In class, oh, a couple of weeks ago, if you look in through my Twitter, you can actually see me making these posts while I'm in class. Oh, well, at the time I was in class, but anyway, um, my teacher was talking about, um, you know, how when we think of certain things there's certain words that come to our mind like if we're Canadian and we think of America we have certain words whereas if you're American and you think of America like USA America um you you know you would have certain words so uh, we we of course you know what words come to our mind when we think of the United States and then he's like um okay what about a man what does it take to be a man and I honestly hope a lot of you are Disney fans because I'm hoping you're laughing right now because my mind automatically went to Mulan. I'm not even joking. He's like, what does it take to be a man? And all I can think of was the To Be A Man song from Mulan. And I'm sitting there cracking up because, you know, th this, this idea come t came to my mind. And it's just, you know, it, it was funny. It was actually funny. But the girl sitting next to me, um, you know, she looks over and she's like, what are you laughing at? So I tell her. She starts laughing. Of course, the two guys next to her don't get it at all. But, you know, can't please everyone. Not everyone knows Mulan. It's fair enough. But uh, later on in class, um, he was uh, talking about how you know, countries weren't seen as a country. It was like, you know, you had, you know, there was this territory and that territory and, you know, there was no us until people kind of saw countries as a sort of character. 
that's what he used. Uh, he said people didn't see uh, themselves as a country until they saw the country as a character. This is for your anime fans. Hatalia. That was the first thing my mind went to was Hatalia. And so once again, I start laughing and the people sitting next to me look at me and I just go Hatalia. And the two guys start laughing and the girl obviously didn't get it. Um, <clears throat> Not obviously, but the girl didn't get it. I can't say that. Um, well, I guess I can say she obviously didn't get it because she didn't start laughing. Uh, anyway, she didn't get it, but the two guys did. And so the three, the four of us, you know, we spent oh, a good majority of the class laughing because um, my mind decides to go to uh, these pop culture references. I mean, it helps in ways, but um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, my mind seems to really like to go to pop culture. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> um, and then there's one other thing uh, that had happened was uh, the week after that, my professor was going on this huge rant about how all pop music sounds the same. And I'm just like, okay, well, he, he clearly hasn't heard of the song Pop 101 from Marianne's Trench. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of them, but uh, Pop 101 from Marianne's Trench is the only one I could think of. And so, you know, after class, I tell him about the song. Because basically, he, he Pop 101 from Marianne's Trench is basically, talk, it's basically talking about all the cliches that's used in pop music. And it's honestly a great song. I love listening to it. But um, I told him about it and he goes, uh, okay, I'm definitely going to have to look this up because it sounds like I can use it in my next lecture. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> it's like, I should not have told him about this song. Why did I tell him about this song? And at the same time, I'm just like, was that a good thing? I think it was a good thing. I mean, he, he knows I'm connecting what he's saying to real life stuff. But it's just like, oh, so I'm like, I still don't know if it was a good thing or not that I told him. Ooh, sorry, I keep yawning. But um, yeah, so that's uh, that's my classes for you guys, and <laughs> I honestly have a lot of other stuff on here, but I think I'm going to save it for my next video. So, yeah, um, that's probably going to be it for this speed build. Uh, I'm going to get the length of um, the video to match up with the length of this uh, voiceover. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I've been up for like six hours now, and I'm still super tired. So I definitely think I should just leave it off here. So I really hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like button, comment, and share. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification button to stay up to date with all the videos I post. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!